Hello there, my name is Mouse, and today allow me to introduce you to this amazing tool that lets you create and make characters for use in any 3D application or game engine uh, like Blender or Unreal Engine or Unity. Uh, yeah, so this is called Veroid and uh, this is their page. I'll be leaving a link in the description uh, if you want to get the tool and look at how it works. I can assure you it's really, really amazing. Uh, so let's look at their page and uh, go to the download page so that you can see how it works. It's a free tool uh, that you can use uh, for any of your projects. So let's scroll down uh, to Veroid Studio. You can just see the download link to download it, but I've already downloaded and installed it. Let me maybe just show you how the demo here uh, quickly. You can create here instantly and also preview it real time uh, as you are customizing your character okay so here we are and uh, you can choose between different templates i start simple with uh, this one here so the right button is to orbit around the character or around your viewport and then your middle mouse wheel is just to pan around uh, your character see at the top here you have the face editor uh, this will focus on the face of the hair editor and uh, this will edit the hair body clothing general editor you can see everything is in real time. You can also export and uh, do everything else. So let's uh, start by customizing this a bit so that I can show you some of the amazing uh, power of this tool. So let's start by customizing the face. So we select the eyes, you can uh, change the eye position. There are quite a lot of things, I guess. You can play around with this and see how you change uh, the character to your liking. And then you also have the textures. Uh, you can edit them. Uh, so. I think this is Japanese, uh, but uh, so it's a good way to learn a new language. Some of these parameters here are not in English. I think it's Japanese. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will tell me if it's not. But uh, yeah, so and uh, it doesn't really matter if you can't read this because uh, these are just layer names. Uh, so if you want to edit, uh, you can see this is the mouth. Uh, so if you want to edit the mouth, uh, we, these are different layers uh, you can select uh, to start editing. Her mouth is uh, closed right now. so. Uh, if I try painting, we won't see anything because uh, we're just painting on the out. We are painting on the inside instead of the outside. So let me go to part of our face that is visible. Oh uh, yeah, the face skin here. And you just find the right layer here to paint on and just select the brush. We start to paint and see we are painting on this, but it's not showing on here because I think this layer here, the first layer is not visible here. So I'm just going to select this. You can see now uh, that is visible. You can. Uh, After you're done with that, you can go to a different part of our body to, to edit. So we have the hair editor and uh, the way this works is that uh, you can just uh, let's find we have different layers as well. We just select one and uh, it will show you a mesh uh, that uh, kind of controls where the, the placement of the hair. So uh, and, uh, you just select the part of the mesh, make sure you're using the brush option and then you can select the cage uh, that you want to paint on and this is just disabling it but uh, just select it and then you start dragging you drag over that yeah uh, let's add another brush here so I can just drag this like that you can also edit the base mesh by just uh, finding the mesh itself. So for example, if we are selecting this, you have these points here that you can drag around. So I also, so for example, if I try painting up here, you can see now this part here is intersecting with our with her nose. So I can just select that base mesh and uh, just get it out of her face like that then we have the body editor uh, so you can edit uh, the whole body uh, you see all the parameters here or you can just select part by part so you can change how tall she is or how short she is and you can see everything is in real time including our hair interactions and uh, clothes you can make the head larger or smaller shoulder uh, so you have these uh, amazing controls uh, that are kind of a lot of controls a lot of large you can spend a lot of time here if you want but uh, 
I guess we could we could do that. And then we can go to the cloth editor. Uh, so uh, a nice trick for you. Here you just remove all the cloth. Change this to a different clothing. Long coat. Yeah, you, and uh, each of these clothings have different parameters. You have the general editor, which is basically changing the, the final look of uh, your character or shading of your character. Have the hairline shading or rim light. Camera stroke exporter. And the first, let's uh, first look at uh, the. Let me change the background a bit here to make something more custom. Now, you also have some poses and animations. Uh, you can see. Really nice character. Have some facial expressions here. Now, if you want to pause the character yourself, you just go under pause and you can pause our character by yourself. Yeah, so let's go to uh, the export, the export part. So if you want to export this into Blender, you just hit the export and uh, uh, hit export, select whatever. If you want to in enter this information, you can enter that, but uh, you don't have to, just select. So you can see the format is exporting, is not supported uh, by Blender. It's exporting .vrm, which is not a format that is supported by Blender. But what you can do is change the format to GLB, which is a format Blender accepts. So we can uh, just hit, select the extension, GLB, and then change that. And now all you have to do is uh, go into Blender, and then import uh, the, and use the GLB to import uh, that. So just select that, then import. And now we can see we get the character with all uh, our materials. And even uh, the edits we added there. So, yeah. Now you can pause the character. The character also comes with the facial expressions. So if you go to your object data, you can see all the shape keys that are come with the character. And you can play around with that to get all the face, the facial expressions that you had in, in the studio editor. So you have quite a few expressions here to use if you want to use those. So that's it and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.